My name is Minoru Makabe. I was just an ordinary office worker. I was working overtime every single day. One day, I had to join an online conference. While I talked to my client, I realized that I knew the client's assistant. She introduced herself as Sasaki. Could she be? The only Sasaki I knew was Reika Sasaki. She went to the same junior high school. She had a beautiful face, and there was always a crowd of boys waiting for her at the school entrance just because they wanted to see her face. But because of her harsh personality, no one could ever ask her out. I was one of those boys who had a crush on her. Do you really think this falls within our budget? I don't think there would be a problem considering our past experiences. I'm slightly anxious about this part. Okay. Could you revise this and send it to me again? I have to go. I have another appointment after this. Thank you for your time. The voice and the way she talked, it seems to be Reika Sasaki herself. But I wasn't sure and my work got busier and busier. Eventually, I didn't even have time to remember about her. Hey Makabe, do you have time? Boss, yeah, sure, what is it? Well, it might take a while. Do you want to come with me for a lunch? Of course, I'll grab my stuff right away. Just like that, I went out to eat lunch with my boss. A set for me. What about you, Makabe? I'll have the same one. Just a moment, please. How are you doing recently? It's been very fulfilling. The project I'm currently working on, I really want to make it a success. I see. That's good to hear. And Makabe, I have something that I want to ask you. Sure, what is it? Do you have a girlfriend? A girlfriend? No, I don't. What about a crush? I remembered about Reika Sasaki for a moment. But I still wasn't sure if that girl from the online conference was her. She was only my old, first crush in my distant memory. I don't have a crush either. Oh right, perfect. Well, Makabe, do you want to come to a marriage meeting? Marriage meeting? My niece has been asking me if there was any good guy in our office. She wants to marry someone who's around 30. Makabe, you are turning 30 soon, right? Yeah, that's true, but... Then, we don't have anyone but you. What do you think? Do you want to see my niece? Sure, but... Good. Then the meeting will be on next Sunday. Make sure you're free that day. I'll message you about the time and place later. You will love her. She's a good girl. <laughs> okay. I'm, I'm seeing someone, someone at a marriage, at a marriage meeting? meeting? I never, I never had, had a girlfriend, girlfriend in my, in my life. life. Am, Am I, I gonna, gonna be okay? okay? After that, I kept working as usual. And the day of the marriage meeting came. I went to a lounge of a hotel just as my boss had instructed me. Is the suit fine? I'm so, so nervous. nervous. My, my boss, boss told me to wait, wait around here. Oh, oh there's, there's my, my boss. boss. My boss saw me and stood up as he waved at me. There was a girl sitting next to him, but I could only see her back. She must be his niece, I thought. And that was when the girl turned around and saw me. I couldn't believe what I saw. I stopped and froze in place. She's, She's the, the girl, girl I, saw I saw in the, the online, online conference, conference, Sasaki. Sasaki. Hey Makabe, what are you doing? Come here. My boss came up to me because I completely stopped moving. Are you okay? Are you not feeling well or something? I, I'm fine. Good, then let's start. This is Minoru Makabe, and this is my niece, Reika Sasaki. So, so she, she was, was Reika, Reika Sasaki. Sasaki. Why are you guys so silent? Long time no see. L long time no see. How were you doing? Why are you still standing there? Just take a seat. Ah, what? You guys know each other? Yeah, he was my classmate back in junior high. Oh, that makes everything smoother. Now, if you'll excuse me, my boss said and left. I didn't know that you were the niece of my boss. My uncle, but on the maternal side. That's why we have different surnames. Do you want me to order something? Yeah. Everything was too sudden and I didn't know what to talk about. Reika and I kept eating the meals that were brought to us in silence. D do you remember when we were in the disciplinary committee together? Yeah. I can't, I can't hold, hold a conversation, conversation with her. her. What, what should, should I, do? I do? And the desserts were brought to us. Reika wiped her mouth with a napkin on her lap and opened her mouth. Let's keep this simple. I want you to get engaged with me. What? You want to engage with me? I'm just an ordinary guy. I swear there are better guys who would want to go out with you. Reika, what happened? Why are you in such a haste to marry someone? My parents are trying to arrange a marriage. 
I don't want to marry a guy who I don't even know, so I thought I'd find someone myself. If I got engaged with the person I chose, my parents would stop arranging a marriage. And I saw you, Minori, on the online conference, and I made my mind. I know you from junior high, so I decided to hold a marriage meeting with you. So, I asked my uncle who's your boss to arrange this for me. Yeah, I recognize you too from that online conference, but, well, I guess you were having a hard time. Reika was blushing and looking at her lap. I felt like I had to make my mind up straight away. Okay, we're engaged then. Thanks. Reika smiled. She looked a little embarrassed. It was a nostalgic smile. Reika rarely smiled, but it was her true smile filled with embarrassment. She's, She's beautiful. beautiful. The next day, I finished work and I was about to leave office. Reika was waiting for me at the entrance. Reika, what's wrong? Why are you here? I forgot to ask your number yesterday, so I came here to see you. Oh, I'm sorry. I totally forgot. Are you free after this, Reika? Well, I'm just gonna go home and eat dinner. Do you want to come with me for a dinner? I'll pay for you. If you're paying, sure. Then let's go. What do you want to eat? Korean barbecue. I want to eat meat. Oh, sounds good. But, but we, we really, really talk, talk to, to each, each other. other. I, I have, have to, to do, do something, something about this. This is so good. Yeah? Which dish do you like the most at Korean barbecue? The skirt steak. Me too. Salted tongs are good too, but the skirt steak is the best. End of conversation. When I got home, there was a message from Reika. She asked me to go on a date with me next week. In the message, she said that she wanted to get to know each other better because we were now engaged. She's right. I thought Reika was a quiet person, but she seems to talk more in the messages. On the weekend, I found Reika at the meeting spot. I could see that it was her from distance. Reika, sorry for making you wait. I'm fine. You said that there is a movie that you want to watch. Do you want to go and see that? We're going to the aquarium. Okay, let's go then. The aquarium was filled with couples. To be fair, we were one of them. Minoru, this way, hurry. Oh, okay. Reika? There was Reika, who was very excited. The sea lion show is gonna start from 11, Minoru. It's starting any moment. Okay. I, I didn't, didn't know that, that Reika smiled, smiled like that. that. Jeez, Jeez, I, I think, think it's, it's gonna, gonna be a, a great, great day, day today. today. I wasn't expecting the aquarium date to be so fun. My eyes were fixed on Reika's bright smiles more than the animals. Reika seemed to love animals. Reika was soaking wet from the dolphin show. Reika was smiling when she got an ice cream on her nose. That day, I felt like I was back to my junior high school days. I wanted to spend more time with Reika. We went on a date every weekend. One day, Reika invited me to come to a trip to Hot Spring. We're, We're spending, spending the, the night, night in the same, same room. room. Am, Am I, I gonna, gonna be okay? okay? My, my stomach, stomach hurts. Welcome, we're so happy to have you two here. Hello. Oh, let me take your wife's belongings first. Oh, I'm not his wife. No, no, it's this way. The staff thought Reika was my wife. When should we bring the dinner to this room? Six o'clock, please. Sure, now enjoy your stay. And we were left alone in the room Reika, I'm gonna go to the hot spring. Yeah, we've still got some time until the dinner. I'll do the same. I was gonna calm myself down by going to the hot spring. We went on so many dates, we were never alone in the same room like that. I was panicking so I stayed in the hot spring for too long, to the point I was slightly dizzy. I went back to the room. Reika, Reika was, was wearing, wearing the, the yukata. yukata. What, what a heavenly sight. Why are you just standing there? Oh, I'm kinda dizzy, and... I can't, I can't say, say that, that Reika was, was the, the one who made me feel dizzy. Do you want some water? Reika turned around, and my eyes were fixed on her beautiful nape of the neck. Hmm, here. Oh, thanks. Are you okay, Midoru? Your face is red. <laughs> I'm fine. Anyways, the dinner looks so good. Yeah, shall we start? Which one would you like, a beer or a Japanese sake? I'll take the beer. What about you, Reika? I'll take the sake then. Now, cheers. I wasn't feeling dizzy anymore. We enjoyed the great food and drinks. Thanks for inviting me today. I haven't felt this relaxed in a while. Minoru, I'm really happy that I was able to come here with you. Reika? I, I wasn't expecting to see you at the online conference. I was trying to forget you. Huh? Reika? I, I think I'm a little drunk. 
Reika fanned her face with her hand and fixed her yukata a little. Minoru, I like you. I wanted to talk to you when we were in junior high, but I wasn't brave enough. I couldn't even speak to you because I liked you so much. What? I didn't know that. I even thought that she hated me. When I saw you at the online conference, I realized that you were working at my uncle's company and I asked my uncle to arrange a marriage meeting with you. You did? Yeah, but I knew that was the only way to see you again. I didn't want to waste this chance. Minoru, I love you. Reika said and she suddenly hugged me. She was so different. Drunk Reika was acting so cute. But hold on, Reika. Can you listen to my part too? When, when I saw you at the online conference, I wasn't sure it was you. But I hoped it was you because you were my first love. So I want to be the one to say this. Reika, this is my proposal to you. I want you to date me with a future marriage in mind. Reika? Haha. <laughs> I looked at Reika and saw her resting her head on my shoulder while sleeping soundly. It was too sweet and I couldn't stop smiling. Six months later, we were officially engaged. My boss is so happy because he was the one who arranged the meeting. He insists to sign our marriage paper as a witness. Everyone, even our parents, are celebrating us and we are so happy. Reika isn't so nervous around me anymore. I'm living with Reika who wants to be spoiled by me every day. Minoru, you left the socks on the floor. I, I'm sorry. Reika goes back to her usual self when she's angry though. I really want to cherish this happiness forever. It was my turn to take the heavy trash can to the incinerator that day. So I was taking the trash can to the incinerator and... Oh, oh there's, there's someone, someone down, down there. there. Oh, oh someone's, someone's trying, trying to, to confess, confess to a girl. girl. Tobai, I've been having a crush on you for ages. Will you go out with me? For ages? What do you like about me? There she goes. She never changes. It was Rin Tobai. A beautiful girl who was famous for being cold and harsh to boys. Wait, but I want to go to the incinerator. What am I gonna do? Huh? I like you because you're beautiful. You're my type. There are other beautiful girls in this world, you know. If that's the only part you like about me, I don't think we'll get along very well. Whoa, she, she's, she's so, so straightforward. straightforward. Rin was so popular in this school and all the boys had a crush on her. But because she was always too harsh on boys, people were starting to rumor that she must hate guys. He's, he's gonna, gonna be, be devastated, devastated after, after this. this. Oh, oh he's, he's running, running away, away crying. crying. I was hiding at the staircase for a while because I couldn't walk past them to go to the incinerator. I can't, I can't go, go home, home until, until I take this, this to the incinerator. incinerator. What, what am, am I doing, doing here? here? That moment, Rin's face appeared out of nowhere. So, how long have you been listening? She, she knows. knows. Huh? Well, how long, you say? <laughs> um, probably from that part where you asked him what he likes about you. So you overheard everything. Well, but it's amazing that you attract so many guys, Rin. Look at me. I'm like this, so no one is interested in me. Rin suddenly fell silent and looked at her feet. Rin? No one really knows about me. They're only interested in my face and looks. I didn't know that being beautiful was tough. I'd be super happy every time they confessed to me. I have an idea. Do you want to go out with me? What? What's wrong with you all of the sudden? It's okay if you don't want to. No way. I'd love to. Nyahaha. <laughs> If we dated, I think that would prevent some boys from confessing to me just because they like my face. Well, yeah, that might work, but... Then, you're my boyfriend from today. See ya. Does, Does she really understand, understand what, what it means to, to date, date someone? someone? It's not like we're going shopping somewhere together. But I didn't have a reason to reject her. Just like that, I started dating Rin. One day during lunch break, I was at the rooftop. I heard the door open and turned my head around. Huh? There's, There's another, another rooftop, rooftop lover other, other than, than me? What do you need? Oh, it's Rin? Rin, you know, I confessed to you once and you dumped me. But I can't forget you at all. 
I still like you. I'm dating someone. What? Don't skip from the same year. We're dating. Oh, I forgot. I quickly hid from their sight. My heart was pounding so fast. I completely forgot that she asked me to date her. Junosuke? Wait, you're dating Isoya? Yeah, so you better forget about me. See ya. There she goes again. Rin's famous, see ya. Besides, I'm stuck here again. So you're watching me again, pervert? Whoa, I didn't mean to at all. I was just eating my lunch, I was here first, and you guys came later. Oh, I see. I haven't eaten my lunch yet, so see ya. Right. right. I, I shouldn't, shouldn't be expecting, expecting anything, anything from her. Rin, Rin asked me to date, date her, but, but she, she wasn't, wasn't serious, serious about it. I was slightly depressed about the fact even though nothing big had happened. I'm gonna just eat the rest of my bread. The next day, I went to the school and something was different. Everyone was whispering to each other. About what? They're looking at me. Wait, they're rumoring about me? Junosuke, hey. Rin opened the classroom door with a serious face and came up to me. I could easily understand what was going on. Oh, so that's the new couple. Oh, they're so lovely dovey together. What's wrong, Rin? Do you remember that guy who confessed to me yesterday? He must have told everyone. It must be him. Huh? What do you mean? He must have told everyone that we're dating. Oh, what are we gonna do? I don't think we need to do anything. Well, you might be fine with this, but I'm not used to a situation like this. Fine. What do you mean, fine? We can't go back. Everyone's gonna tease us. Just follow me. Huh? And what does a couple do? Like cuddling and stuff? Cuddling, okay. Rin said and started walking. I hesitated, but I couldn't think of anything else to do, so I followed Rin. I could still hear people rumoring. I could even feel them staring at us. But Rin, see you later. I whispered to Rin and turned around to go back to my classroom. That moment, Rin turned around and grabbed the hem of my shirt. Jinosuke, I don't see you until after school, right? I miss you. Come and pick me up when the school is over. W what did she just say? That Rin? She, she misses me? She said that in front of everyone else? I was totally locked in and I was frozen in place. I couldn't think of anything to say. That was when... We have to act like a couple, right? Rin whispered into my ear. I was already panicking at this situation, but because Rin whispered into my ear, my brain stopped functioning. Yeah. Whenever, Whenever I'm, I'm with, with Rin, Rin, my, my heart, heart is actually racing. racing. I don't, I don't really, really mind, mind that though. As we promised, I went to Rin's classroom to pick her up and started walking together. It's, it's Rin, Rin, who's, who's famous, famous for being cold and harsh to guys. But Rin, who told me that she misses me in front of everyone, was too cute. I was thinking about how I should act as her boyfriend. Rin, what do you want to do after this? I want to go to the bookstore before I go home. Oh, I'm coming with you. Huh? Don't. Why? Because I can't concentrate. Oh, I see. Okay, I'm going home then. Once we were left alone, Rin was her usual self. I was going to get all sweet and cuddly with her, but the reality hit hard. Since then, even if we were at school, Rin was always her usual self. That super cute Rin that I saw was only her acting. We were supposed to be dating each other, but... I would start to question our relationship. One day, during the lunch break, someone summoned me to the music room. When I opened the door, there was Keiko Saeki, who was looking out of the window. Saeki-san, did I make you wait? No, I'm sorry that I called you here like this. Is it some serious talk? I know everything, Isoya-kun, because we've been together since junior high. You're not dating Rin, and you guys are lying, right? I can see that because I've always liked you, and I still have a crush on you. Isoya-kun, you're acting really weird lately. Rin is just playing around with you, and that's not very you. I was shocked. Saeki-san suddenly confessed to me. When I was in junior high school, I had a little crush on Saeki-san. Saeki-san was someone who was unattainable for me, like a star. Saeki-san. So I'm asking you to date me instead of her. I always liked you. I'm different from Rin. 
If this happened two years ago, I must have been over the moon. But the time went by. Saiki-san was telling me that she liked me, and that was enough for me right now. Thanks, but I can't betray Rin. I'm in love with Rin right now. I'm sorry, I can't date you, Saiki-san. I thought you would say that, Isuya-kun, but I'm not gonna give you up. I think I like you more now that you said that. I'm waiting for you. Thanks, and I'm so sorry. Thanks, Thanks my, my star. star. That moment, I realized that I was totally in love with Rin. The next day, something was different again at school. People were rumoring about the fact that Saiki-san had confessed to me. Jeez, Jeez don't, don't they, they have, have anything, anything better, better to do, do than rumoring? Oh, there's, there's Rin. Rin. Hey. Rin walked past me without a word. Huh? She, she didn't, didn't hear me? me? She ignored me? She could greet me at the least. On the way home, I asked Rin to come with me to a burger shop. Rin was quiet. She was more quiet than usual. I didn't know what to say either, and we both couldn't break the silence. Finally, the burgers arrived. Whoa, it looks so good. Well, I shouldn't be too worried. She's always like this. What are you gonna do about Saiki-san? Rin suddenly stopped eating and asked me. Saiki-san? Oh, that. What do you mean that? You could have told me about it. Sorry, I thought it had nothing to do with you. It does. It so has something to do with me. Huh? We're dating each other, right? What's wrong with her? Rin looked different from her usual self. Yeah, I knew we were dating, so I rejected Saiki-san's confession. Huh? You dumped her? Yeah, because I like you the best, Rin. We are a couple after all. Oh, I thought you were gonna dump me. Why would I dump you? Because I'm like this. I like you, Junosuke, but I can never be honest to my feelings. Once she said that, her face turned red and she started crying. I was surprised for a second, but at the same time, I thought she was so adorable. Rin, look at me. You're fine just the way you are. I'm happy that we can talk together like this. I love you, Junosuke. I don't want anyone else to steal you away from me. I was so jealous and I was also really anxious. I don't want you to dump me and leave me. I won't. Really? Promise? I won't leave you. Then tell me you like me ten times. Haha. <laughs> I like you, 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 Rin. Junosuke! Rin, can I ask you a favor? I like you the most when you are acting like this. I want you to be like this in front of me. Sure, I can do anything if it's for you. We then hugged and kissed each other. Since then, Rin was a different person. Regardless of the time and place, Rin was always really sweet to me. Junosuke! And six months had passed. Rin wanted to introduce me to her mom, so I was visiting Rin's house. Rin's mom was so good at cooking, and she welcomed me so much. I've always heard about you. Rin kept talking about you since she was in junior high, right, Rin? Huh? Since junior high? M mom, you're talking too much. It's not too much. Junosuke-kun, please take care of my daughter. Yeah, of course. Now eat as much as you want. There's more, so don't hesitate. Thank you. After the meal, we went to Rin's room and had some tea. Ah, I'm so full. Thanks for coming today. My mom was so happy to have you here. Yeah, but what about the part that you were telling her about me since you were in junior high? Oh, just forget it. You don't have to remember that part. But I want to know. What was it? What did you tell her about me? I knew what she was going to answer, but I wanted to hear it directly from Rin. Jeez, I had a crush on you since I was in junior high school. <sighs> You're satisfied? Oh, so you had a crush on me. Yeah, I was in love with you, Junosuke, since then. I pulled Rin towards me and kissed her forehead. I love Rin the way she is now. <laughs>